Hello, welcome back to Matt's Coins. Where this is the concluding part of the four bag eBay win lot. So let's just get it thinged out. This was already broke, um, split. I must have done it when I was getting stuff out. Just as a bit of background history, this is a lot um, one of four lots that I won on eBay recently. Um, mixed UK world um, job lot of coins. Just thought it'd be interesting to go through and see what we get. So let's start with 10 rubles from 2016 in a little case. So let's see if we can get it open. From Pet Petrosa Vodka. Oh, I can't even pronounce it. There we are. Looks to be made of brass, but we'll confirm that once we start going through. I don't think there's anything else that's wrapped up. Okay, let's, before we get into it, let's get rid of these. More of those to be given away at some point in time. We have found silver in these lots so far. It'd be nice to find a bit more. I date it very much though. You know, 1967 Truppence. 1937, looking for the 46 and 49, of course. There you go, 10 centimes from France. This is 100 pesetas from Spain. 1931 half crown. I think I've got my camera in the wrong position, so I'm just going to adjust that. Yeah, that's much better. I didn't have it quite in the light. Singapore, 10 cents. One franc from France. Nice 1935 farthing there. Yeah, lovely little coins. Nineteen forty nine, one penny. Other than the the fifty and the fifty one, I believe the forty nine was the lowest minted years. Fifty and fifty one, of course, being um, very restricted and not intended for circulation in the end in this country, I believe. But nice to see a forty nine. Rather ropey nineteen ten. Two shillings, nineteen fifty six. Ten. That Rand from South Africa. 1958 half penny. Okay, Hong Kong is it? Oops. Before he drops it, yeah, Hong Kong cents. Uh, 20 cents. Bank of Uganda, 500 shillings from 1998. Okay, Uganda that might be a new one. Ten orphan from nineteen fifty four. UK ten P nineteen sixty eight. Five drachma. A rather mangled nineteen twenty nine farming. Obviously had a hard life. Nineteen forty seven, first year of the Cupro Nickel. I did see an auctioneer trying to pass these off as silver recently. Hopefully nobody got stung too much by not being in the note. Right, 1915, we do have varieties on here. And that year is not recessed. 10 francs from France. 1930 penny. Two francs from 1943 in aluminium. Let's go to the other end of the scale now. We've got 100 francs from 1955. 
MP mint mark, just there. And I do believe these are privy marks down here as well. Fennig. 1954 sixpence. Five francs from Belgium. Okay, 1916. Not a recessed year one. Penny from Ireland, an 1864 penny, and there is that one from the Whitman album, I am going to double check. I've just grabbed the Whitman album and sadly we do have one in there. And I would probably say that's got slightly more detail so that one stays. We're for luck though. Hundred lira. Nineteen nineteen mint mark. No. Oops. Wouldn't be a hunt if I didn't drop one. Okay, nineteen forty eight half crown. Nineteen thirty eight penny. Yeah, there's that one. Nineteen oh two high tide, you can see the tide level there. Sixty six Republic of Argentina ten pesos, nineteen sixty three. So that might be a winner. That's 1981 20 cent from Malaysia. Singapore 10 cents. Half a franc. Memories of all the holidays to France as a as a teenager. 1913 penny. 1946 farthing. It's probably not going to upgrade the Farthing album. Two Fennig. US. 1971. One cent. Two francs. 1943. 50 drachma. From Greece. We said about them the better. So what have we got here? Is that Sweden one crown? We've got a couple of two francs from 1943 and 1944 again in that aluminium. 1968 5p 1965 half penny There's probably two handfuls left to go another aluminium two francs from 1944 25 pesetas from spain 1983 hong kong 10 cents 1959 English shillings. The Scottish one is the one to look out for. 43 farming. Another two francs, this time from 1946. Showing a slightly different design. Nineteen twenty eight penny. Another two francs, this time from nineteen forty three again. Spanish nineteen seventy five twenty five pesetas. A sixty four. Looking for that second eight. And that is to the middle of a tooth, so I do believe that is 
obverse 3, I think it is. I'll probably confirm that in the caption. It's not an 84, is it? No, it's 82. One chin from Austria. 1949, sixpence. 67 penny. Another 1943, two francs. 63. Oops. 1944, half penny. And then we've got a couple. A 1967 and a 1965. Sixpence. So again, looking at that second eight. And get it to focus. That seems to be pointing at a bead. But I will get them all, get them checked under the scope eventually. As far as a wrap up session goes, it's probably going to be a couple of months down the line. Now, is this plate is this what I think it is? I am going to find a magnet. One moment. Now if my hunch is correct. This is a 1943 steel scent. And a scent that I actually need for the collection. So there's the coin for this hunt. That is definitely a keeper. Right, let's see what else we can find. So we've got 10 francs there. And five centimes. Another 10 penny. Five francs. 1963 sixpence. A 64 penny. 65 sixpence again. Yeah, seems to be pointing at the tooth. A 43 farthing. 1944, two francs again. And a 66 half penny. Some more Romanian change, 50 penny. 20 lira from Italy. 100 pesetas. Oops. One for, for Garrett here, 1972 Guild Up from the Netherlands. Another coin that reminds me of holidays. When I was about six, my dad would take me camping to Austria, uh, Austria, or to the Netherlands. Um, probably, oh, it's a penny there. Probably round to the, the Hock of Holland area. I think this has been, looks like it's been mounted at some point. Not even sure what sort of coin it is. Possibly meant it as a good luck charm. Uh, so, Mr. Dos Unionos Mexicanos, Unidos Mexicanos, 20 cents, 1974. Denmark, 1994, 25 all. So, we're on to the last few coins for this one now. So, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification icon. Be notified when I upload videos, which is going to be very regularly from now for the next few months. Nineteen fifty-seven, um, twenty-five cents from the Netherlands again, and the last coin is going to be a little Irish penny. So on that note, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I shall see you on the next one.